defensively. OMU is going to throw a lot at Lauren Gus, and they're going to mix it up on the matchup one-on-one, -on -one, but also we saw that double team very effective because they went aggressive and hard and closed the gap. Inside for Gustin off the glass and in, 7-4. Coming off a career high, 22 against St. Louis in Latye on Tuesday. Wollston for three. She is one of the best in the country. Her 20th made three in game six now. Here's Dunn. Gandy, look at Smiler on the steal. Whiting back in the game. Step back three. Bang. Mari Whiting, first bucket. Watch the balance and just the smoothness of Amari Whiting. You're going to go under the screen. She just reads it perfectly. A little cross dribble to setting going underneath. And for how deadly BYU is on the outside with their sharpshooters, you can't afford to go under the screen. Smiler for three, and BYU is feeling it from deep now. And Whiting will go to the line. Watch the screen action underneath. And it's just really running that baseline of Smiler hustling out. Defender loses her. Leading pass from Falatea to Davenport into the corner for Wolston. You're surprised when it doesn't go in with Kaylee Wolston. Timeout LMU. Game. She's got two now. She had two total points coming they into the game. They three. Wolston saying, I cannot see someone else make a three and I not share. Strong with these two. Done again. Well, she has come out with confidence on the perimeter and exactly what the Lions need to help keep them in this game. And then right back at you, Kaylee Wolston. The big answer, every time she catches up. Lines in a zone now, mixing it up against BYU, but they don't find Woolston. <laughs> she is crazy good. 33-26. And that's the challenge as well for Erica Hughes to kind of bring that together, right? Get them all on the same page, that cohesiveness. Falatea, what a move, and high off the glass with the left hand. Getting up right where she left off Just from a year ago. The, the element that she brings what she can do with the basketball. You got a hand by Mark up in Wolston's face. You're not going to get a clean look here. Four for four so far. And more length on Wolston, right? At six foot one. Davenport and one. From BYU. Also a transfer that BYU picked up from Boston University. She's the Swiss Army knife. As coach refers to her as her wild card. Can really just use her in different positions. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, right? There's no suffer. Five seconds. Gustin bumped off the mark, throws it up and in. And Gustin now with a double-double. Boy, Hughes has to be pleased. She's had so many senior leaders, but the future is Hernandez and Whedon and how those two players have come in. And three with an 89th minute goal to get to its second final four in three years. Unbelievable. Well, Emma Calvert. On that and Olivia Wade it, Katoa. It, it was a crazy one, man. That we've seen in this half from LMU. They've done a really good job making that adjustment, taking care of the ball. Falatea's first three of the season. Three. Really up by seven now. A wide open. Did you see no one picking her up, that trail? Falatea just setting her feet, doing a really good job. I mean, she's a really good three-point shooter coming in. She averaged 15 points per game a season ago. I played with Nancy Celius Warner, who was her high school coach. Falatea on the block at about six on the shot clock. His injury and Ari Mackie Williams as we take a look at Falatea's defense. She does a really good job of forcing it. Calvert has really improved her game with that duck in, this seal, especially from up top. When you've got guards like Whiting and Falatea, they're going to throw it to you. Here's Deja Hamilton, who we also highlighted. Zero points on zero of four from the field, and Woolston going in for two more. 16 for the freshman who averages 17 a game to lead BYU. Yeah, that's a tough one because Mark did a really good job finding her shooter on the offensive kick out. And one for Amari Whiting. Yeah, it was six points, but watch the body control. She's going to absorb the contact with the Zasia and then the finish. Rodriguez goes baseline, blocked from behind by Kaylee Smiler, the Kiwi. Falatea. Inside to Gustin. Reverses up and in. Lauren Gustin with 14 points, 13 rebounds. They don't care what the score is it and what time is on the, the ball. clock. That yeah. says a lot Respect about Erica Hughes' team. Mataval to the rim.